uh, solution architecture in nutshell, uh, solution architecture defines and foresees multiple aspects of a business solution at both the strategic and tactical perspectives. Solution architecture is not just about a software solution. It covers all aspects of a system, which will be included, but not limited to system infrastructure, networking, security, compliance requirements, system operation, cost, and reliability. Let's see the different aspects of solution architect, uh, architecture in order to understand it better. So uh, the very first aspect uh, we have is globally distributed team. In this age of globalization, almost every product has users distributed across the globe and stakeholders groups to take care of customer needs. Often the uh, software development team has an onshore offshore model where a team works across different time zones to increase productivity and optimize project cost. So uh, solution design needs to consider a globally distributed team structure. Then we have global compliance requirement as we have mentioned already, uh, we, when we are deploying uh, solution globally, each country and region has its laws and compliance regime, which uh, solution needs to adhere. For example, you must have heard of uh, GDPR, you know, uh, there are different other compliances like PCI for the credit card, uh, HIPAA for health insurance, portability and accountability. So we need to take care of those things in mind before we start working on the architecture. Then we have uh, cost and budget. Solution architecture gives a good estimation of the overall cost of the project, which helps to define a budget. This includes uh, capital expenditure, which is, we also call it CapEx, which is the upfront cost and operational expenditure, which is OPEX, which is an ongoing cost. It helps management to create an overall budget for uh, human resources, infrastructure resources, and other licensing related costs. So cost and budget need to keep in mind. Then we have uh, solution implementation component. Solution architecture provides a high level overview of different implementation components of the product beforehand, which helps to plan the execution. Then we have, um, I'm sorry, now let me write it down here. Then we have business requirement. Solution architecture considers all business requirements, which includes both functional and non-functional requirement, okay, which is very important. We, we, we will uh, cover these in later videos. <clears throat> it makes uh, sure that business requirements are compatible, therefore allowing them to be co converted into technical implementation stage and strike a balance between stakeholders. Then we have uh, IT infrastructure requirement. <clears throat> what kind of IT infrastructure is required to execute the project, which includes computing, storage, network, and so on. We can also include the technology selection here. Let me write that down, technology selection, because during a solution designing, a solution architect creates a proof of concept and prototype, which considers the corporate requirement and then recommends the right technology and tools for implementation. Solution architects aims to build in-house versus third-party tool sourcing and define software standards across the organization. Then we have uh, end user requirement. 
right? End user requirement because whatever you build, whatever you prepare, it is actually preparing for the end users, right? So solution architecture pays special attention to the requirement of the end users who will be the actual consumers of the product. It helps to discover the hidden requirements that a product owner may not be able to capture due to lack of technicality. During implementation and launch, solution architect provides a standard document and typical language structure in order to make sure that all the requirements have been met to satisfy the user's needs. Then we have solution maintenance. Solution maintenance. Because solution architecture is not just about solution design and implementation, but it also takes care of post launch activities, such as solution scalability, disaster recovery, operational excellence, excellence, you know, so it's, it's about covering your solution from head to toe. It's about maintaining what you have designed and implemented, right? So solution maintenance. All right. Then we have timelines, of course, for every task, you should have timeline only then it matters else it doesn't you know so solution architecture design the layout details of each component with their complexity which further helps to define the project milestones and timeline by providing resource estimation and associated risks so uh, the initial design of a solution architecture may be conceived at a very early stage during the pre-sale cycle, such as RFP and RFI, and is followed by the creation of prototype or proof of concept in order to discover any solution risks. Risk, what's wrong with me? Risk. So uh, <clears throat> it is more like a pre-sales people involved than uh, an architect involved, which is they're, they're like two, two kind of architects, generalized and the specialist, generalized are the one who has knowledge in breadth. It's like aware of all kinds of technologies, all kinds of clouds. The specialist is about the architect who is too much into deep. So generalized archi architect usually creates the high level design for the customer. And once that is approved and customer is happy with the costing and the timing and the architecture, then the specialist architectures get involved and do the deep dive. That's how uh, it goes, okay? So this is the very basic idea of solution architecture and the different aspects of the architecture. So let's quickly summarize this video. So solution architecture is not just about the software solutions it covers all aspects of a system right and we have different aspects right here like globally distributed team because people are working from everywhere and anywhere in the world. Same goes with the compliance because we do have our customers anywhere and everywhere. And that's why the compliance should be met. Cost is because you can prepare the best solution ever, but you need to make sure, you need to keep this in mind. Somebody has to pay for that solution, right? So cost and budget is, is very important. Solution implementation component business requirement, functional and non-functional that we will cover in the uh, later videos. Technology selection, which is very important. Uh, that defines a lot of things. If, uh, if I could give you an example, very small example, simple example. If you're migrating your simple three-tier or two-tier application to Azure, and it, if it is compatible, you can easily go with the app services or the uh, Azure SQL path services where everything is inbuilt and a very less admin overhead, even inbuilt backup, HA, everything, right? And the user requirement, solution maintenance, because it's not only about implementing and creation of the solution, it's about 
taking care of the solution which is implemented and the time. Timeline is very important. So this is the very first video in the solution architect series and we try to understand what is solution architecture. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day.